first, a New York cop killed by an alleged drunk driver hit on the Long Island Expressway in Queens. This as he was responding to a different deadly crash. And good evening, everyone, at 5 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Lauren Glassberg in for shot. A 43-year-old NYPD officer, Anastasio Sakos, was diverting traffic when he was hit. Just before 2 this morning, he was the father of two and a 14-year veteran of the force. Cops say Jessica Bouvet behind the wheel, fled the scene and was arrested a short time later. And late this afternoon, she apologized as she was walked out of a police precinct. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne spoke to Officer Sakos's brother and neighbors. And we begin with Stacy Sager live outside the 107th precinct in Fresh Meadows, Queens. Stacy. Well, Lauren, the driver in this case, the driver did speak to reporters and she was remorseful. Meanwhile, Mayor de Blasio is calling this a senseless and avoidable chain of events. We're talking about two fatal car crashes here, and both of them involve reckless driving and suspended licenses. She killed a police officer while driving intoxicated on the LIE with a suspended license, but... I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry because I'm dead. 32-year-old Jessica Beauvais of Hempstead now facing a host of charges, including vehicular manslaughter, as the NYPD grieves. 43-year-old police officer Anastasios Sakos gave 14 years protecting New Yorkers, but early this morning, he gave his life. We see here a horrendous pattern. People doing the wrong thing and other people dead because of it and one of them a hero officer. Sakos with the NYPD's highway division diverting traffic after one fatal crash involving reckless driving here in Queens just after midnight. And then police say Beauvais struck Sakos and just kept going. When you see the uh, images of her car and the windshield that is completely shattered as well as damage to the front of the car, there is no way to not know that you struck an individual. They arrested her nearby a short time later and say her blood alcohol content was nearly twice the legal limit. Meanwhile, outside her home here in Hempstead, her family asking for privacy today, her neighbors cringing at the pain this loss will cause. My sister was killed in a, by a drunk driver. He didn't just kill my sister, he just killed my whole family. And in a Facebook post less than a day before the fatal crash, Beauvais reflecting on how she didn't like rules. I am ignorant. I don't like being told what to do. As the NYPD now grapples with the fallout. Under that uniform, behind that stern face, was a father, was a husband, was someone that was trying to put their life together. And what a tragedy for the NYPD. Meanwhile, that driver, Jessica Beauvais, with a history of summonses, we do know of at least three of them for speeding, for driving with a cell phone, and of course the Facebook post, not even a day before this crash happened.